Tazzy recap. Tazzy recap and win. And win. What are we winning? I'm about to tell you. Okay. How do we start this thing? This is starting it. We started. Hey guys, we just wanted to make this quick little video to thank you so much for watching and following along our On The Road Tazzy travel series. It was pretty epic. There was over 11 episodes. Not over. There was 11 oh, episodes sorry. in total. 11 Eight episodes. travel videos. So we're in Tazzy. Feeling good. Three home tours. And you Plus a bonus. What was the bonus? There's a bonus coming soon. There's a bonus episode. Oh, is this the bonus? No. What's the bonus? There's another tour. What? Oh, you forgot already. There's another <laughs> home tour coming. Stay tuned. Oh, there is. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's the penny dropping. <laughs> the penny just dropped. We basically produced over two and a half hours worth of footage, which is pretty insane. And it has been seen more than what the views are like over 250,000 already on YouTube. Our subs have doubled since we launched. Yeah. In six weeks. Oh my gosh, so incredible. I reckon that is probably our biggest accomplishment to date. I'm very proud of it. You're very proud of it. Mm. We're both very proud of it. Thank you so much for following. And we wanted to say thank you also just quickly to the people that basically let us come and trusted us with their homes and their hotels and their beautiful accommodations because that was pretty cool. Everyone in Tassie is nice. Like there are no mean Tasmanians. You'd be hard pressed to find a mean Tasmanian. Thank you for letting me go crazy and run wild and raid all the liquor cabinets and all that kind of jazz. It was very fun. Cheers. What was your favorite part of Tassie, Jono? Oh, oysters. Getting oysters. So Bruni, for sure. Bruni Island Bruni was pretty, pretty good. good. Let me just say, sir, what a fantastic customer you are. <laughs> uh, no one has driven that well. Um, you were very unnatural in front of the camera for the how to shuck an oyster. I really liked that. Well, I practiced a little bit. Going to give you a little run through how to shuck an oyster. To be honest, it was really hard to pick a favorite, but I actually really enjoyed meeting everyone. And it was really nice to meet Nick in Eagle Hawk, just to like be able to meet someone in real life other than Instagram, so that was pretty cool. So there was a lot of fun things which we're gonna recap on for you, but the reason for this video is, well, to say a very, very big thank you to everyone. We are giving away our biggest ever giveaway, probably, I'm pretty sure it is, today. Easily our biggest giveaway. Easily. Yeah. Win <laughs> the ultimate Tazzy road trip. Yeah! That was a, that was a oh. moment for you to be like, yeah! Win the ultimate Tazzy road trip. So, okay, this is the deal. This actually is the biggest thing we've given away ever. It's very, very exciting. This is what you can win. It all kicks off in Hobart in Tasmania where you will be jumping into an SUV courtesy of Drive Car Hire, which is a very important part because without a car, then it's not a road trip, it's, it's a, a trip. trip. So, <laughs> it's okay. So you'll be getting a car courtesy of Drive Car Hire that you'll be picking up in Hobart. That's going to be your mode of transport for your ultimate road trip. And the first stop is the very luxurious Map One Hotel in the middle of Hobart. In a pretty good spot. It's right on the water. Probably the best spot. <laughs> it's legitimately amazing. We had the pleasure of spending a very cheeky one night there before we left for our last final stop. It was very luxurious, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You look out over onto the docks, it's the most beautiful view ever. Plus, it is home to Evolve, which is what? It was named like the best hotel bar. What really? was the bartender's name again? Oh Wasn't he god. from Melbourne? Yes, he was. I've forgotten his yeah. name. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. But he makes a mean dry gin martini. So if that's your vibe, ask him for that and say, I say hi. I'm sorry for getting your name. <laughs> so you can go do that or you can just head out on the town. I mean, there's so many things you can do to enjoy Hobart, but that is your first night stay. The next day, you're going to be enjoying brekkie at Mac One before you jump into your SUV and you head to... You're going to be heading to... Pump house. Pump house. Not just any room. The retreat. It's not even just a room, right? It's no. your own private glass box and it is just an all-inclusive treat for your senses. You've got your own shop. Don't have to pay for anything. It's all-inclusive. We're talking food and drink and not just any food and drink. It's the most delicious food from Tassie that you've ever seen. Those meats and the cheeses. Honeycomb. The salmon. Oh, the the salmon. salmon. Charles. Plus you've got your own outdoor bar and an indoor bath if you don't want an outdoor one. It is just the most insane 
beautiful space designed by Jaws Architects. They did a beautiful job. It was just heaven on earth. Plus you get to just experience Pump House in all its glory and you will get your communal dinner in the Shaw House, which I loved. Remember that first night? I got too excited. People you make we sure knew. <laughs> <laughs> so many friends probably had a little bit too much fine tazzy liquor, didn't I? Probably. We had to go for a walk the next day. We did, which was amazing. But anyway, you get to spend a night in the retreat at Pump House Point, which is next level insane. That itself is a giveaway on its own. That's your second night. Oh my God, I love it. The next day, once you have brekkie in the shore house at Pump House, you're going to be jumping in your car and going to Stanley, the ship inn, where it all began. That was our first stop. That's good. We should have stayed longer there. I but. really would have loved to have stayed longer. You guys, you've only got one night at the ship in like we did. So make the most of it. Make sure you walk up the nuts. Go meet the locals at the hotel. And just chill out with Kerry. Get the some coolest. raffle tickets at the pub. Might have a little prize. We all know why. That is your third night. You're going to be checking into the ship in in Stanley. And it is the most beautiful storytelling boutique hotel of all time. So once you're there, let us know how they're going. Make sure you spy on all the renos that were happening next door in the billiards room because there was lots of fun things going on there. There will be brekkie provided in your gorgeous hotel room in the ship in, but you can't stay too long there because you're going to be jumping in your car and driving straight to Launceston where you get to stay a night at probably might be my favourite hotel I may have ever stayed in in my entire life. Stillwater 7. They had oh. the best minibar. Physically, <laughs> the design of the minibar. Was By right. Simon Anker, he crafted that. I mean, it's so good. custom built cabinetry for that amazing minibar. <gasps> Stop! This is the best minibar yeah. I have ever seen. But you get to spend a night in Stillwater 7. That blew our mind. It's in a beautiful location. It's really close to Cataract Gorge. And I mean close as in like 100 behind meters. behind the hotel. Yeah, absolutely stunning. We actually didn't show any of that. Nah, because when we walked up there, we walked up there at night. We did. Dark. But and I remember the animals. And there were animals. <laughs> oh yeah, if you don't like wildlife, yeah. don't go there late at night. So you get to spend a night at Stillwater 7. And I can't stress enough, if you're staying there, you should probably go down and have dinner at Stillwater, the restaurant, which has been there for 19 years. That was the best food. It was so Very incredible. Good. But if you don't get there for dinner, breakfast is included the following day. So don't worry, you get to experience it there as well. Breaky was good too. We didn't film any of it because we ate it too quick. It just went. How's the brekkie? Good, we forgot to film it because we ate. We ate too quick. It was delicious. It was. Mm. Check out the clean ass plates. Yeah. Anyway, where are we going, where are we going after Stillwater? Yes, oh, I reckon we're, we're getting on a plane. Getting on a plane. Yes, yeah. the guys at Flinders Island Aviation and Unique Charters are going to hook you up with a plane ride to Flinders Island. Private charter. Yeah. Straight across to Flinders. Don't mind if I do. Just that was pretty good. You'll be jumping on a plane, probably with Pete. If you see Pete, say hi from us. He's going to be taking you across to Flinders Island. And there, you get to stay at the Wombat Lodge, which is a completely... Brand spanker. Yeah, it is brand spanking new. New accommodation from Joe and Tom, who own Flinders Wharf. And they also manage Cray Shack, so you know it's going to be good. It's really, really it's fresh. good. It's fresh. Brand and new. I'm really jealous that I haven't been there. And also, I've already had a look on Instagram and a couple of things pictures. Trust me, it's good. Everything that Auntie with George visits is good. That's not all though, Jono. Guess where they're having dinner? For probably two. the same place we did. No, we didn't have dinner there. We had lunch there. But exactly. You know, probably be better. Yeah, I reckon. Mikey's going to hook you up. Mikey is definitely going to hook smoker. you up. You are going to be heading to the Flinders Wharf for dinner for two. You're going to be hanging out there. Ooh, Tom will probably be out mixing drinks maybe in the distillery. He might even give you a sample of his new single malt whiskey from Ferno Distillery. I don't know if that's officially part of the prize, but it is but now, Tom. Him. Him up. <laughs> Just say, Lucy yeah. said, where's my whiskey? So that's really exciting. You get to have dinner there, which Flinders Wharf is awesome. Joe and Tom are doing amazing stuff there, and it's really great for the community. Plus, upstairs as well, they've got co-working spaces and all sorts of cool stuff. So make sure you get a bit of a tour while you're there as well. That was the best lunch I've ever had in my entire life. And then, the next day, you will enjoy a light breakfast or a heavy breakfast, depending on what you whip up at your Wombat Lodge. And then you'll be jumping on a plane back to Launceston. Again, your own private charter, courtesy of Flinders Island Aviation and Unique Charters. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And that is where you're gonna have to drop off the car and we'll leave you and 
It's home time. How many nights is that? One night at Mac One. Pump house point. One night in the retreat. One night in the ship inn. Next. I've forgotten already. Launceston. <laughs> One night at Stillwater <laughs> 7. And then finally. Flinders Island. Flinders Island. One Flinders night Island. at Wombat Lodge. Brand new accommodation. Five nights of the most luxurious accommodation you are ever going to come across in Tassie. You get your car, you get your breakfast, you get a couple of amazing meals in there as well. I the mean, best of the best in Tassie. There's a couple of things that you do need to know about this giveaway. First of all, how do you enter? Link down there, link up there, head to our website, there click will, the thing on Instagram. There will be a link There'll be links somewhere. everywhere. Go to huntingforgeorge.com. Huntingforgeorge.com forward slash win. Enter your details in order to be in the running. It kicks off as of right now and it will be finishing three weeks. Competition ends on the 2nd of March. That's a Monday. All of the details are going to be on the website, by the way. The winner will be announced on the 5th, which is on the Thursday. There is only one winner, but you can take a guest. There are no twin bed situations here. It's just one room, a queen bed, so you can take your partner or I guess you could take your bestie. You just need to be really close with your bestie because you're sleeping in the same bed. And the important thing you need to know is that there are dates for this holiday. The dates for this are locked in. Check the website for the full terms and conditions. You do need to be able to travel on the dates that have been locked away for all these accommodations because they're all back to back. Go to honeyforgeorge.com. All the details are there. That is it. That was a very long recap of what you get to win. But basically, you get five nights, car hire, you get beautiful meals. Oh, charter flight. Charter flight. Head to our website, huntingforgeorge.com and probably huntingforgeorge.com forward slash win, which will probably be in a link somewhere. Everywhere. Everywhere. Thank you so much. It's the first on the road travel series we've ever done. It was just a privilege to be able to create something that was uniquely our own, showcasing the beauty that is Australia, the amazing design that exists within Australia, and in this case, Tasmania. So many amazing people, so many great experiences. Thank you so much for being able to put this together and just watching it and giving us the courage and confidence to do more, and there is more coming. Good luck for anyone that is entering this competition, and if you're not, you're crazy. You should. Did we do it? Yeah. Says Lada. Bye. Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. No, that's not what I want to say. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> what is this? 1983 video. Okay, so, do you really want me in this? <laughs> You're so off footing. Why? I'm not used to competing with you for the camera. <laughs> Well, you better get used to it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, ready? Let's take it seriously. And go.